In this example, I'm going to walk through the steps necessary to begin geocoding using the New York City Department of City Planning's geocoding service uh, available through Lion. I've already gone through the work of downloading Lion, unzipping the file, and placing it in a location where I can find it. And I've also downloaded from the same website the New York City School Districts, which I've already added to my map. So, starting here, I know that I have a data set that I'm interested in geocoding, and that's the New York City Schools, which I've also downloaded in an Excel document. So browsing that file real quickly, there are a lot of attributes in here, and it's okay as long as I have these two primary fields for my purposes. I need for New York City addresses either a zip code or I need a borough code. In this case I have zip, so that's great. And then of course I also need a street address, which I also have in this field file. So I'm closing my Excel document because remember, you can't have Excel open while geocoding. Going back to ArcGIS, I'm clicking on the Tools menu, selecting Geocoding, and then Address Locator Manager. So before we can geocode addresses, I have to make sure that I have an Address Locator Manager in here. Now once you've done this in your MXD and it's available for your use and you've saved the project and you go back and reopen it again, you won't have to go back through these steps, but because I haven't done that yet, I have to click the Add button, browse to where my Lion Geocoder is, which is in this geodatabase. Open the geodatabase, and I have two versions. I have a zip code version, and I have a borough code option. Now, I can pick the zip code, but if I want to add them both, I can simply hold down the Shift key, select them both, and click Add, and then click Close. Next, I go back up to the Tools menu, go to Geocoding, and then Geocode Addresses. I pick the zip code Lion Locator because in my data I have zip codes, and I click OK. Next, I simply browse to the file that we were just looking at, the Excel document. And remember, when you're working with Excel documents, you can't simply select it and then click Add. You have to double click on the Excel document and select the appropriate sheet. Then click Add. Next, it's already picked my zone, which in this case is my zip code column. But up here, I need to tell it what my street or intersection field is. So I open the drop-down menu and find primary address. And here I can simply give my resulting shapefile a new name and click OK. Now this process can take a little while but you can see it's pretty quick for uh, even a large data set. This record set has about 16 100 records, and we've matched 91%. We had ties for 78 of the records, and we have a total of 67 unmatched records. So at this point, if I wanted to, I can click Rematch here and start combing through the records that didn't match by going to the Show Results drop-down menu, clicking on Unmatched Addresses, and then starting to work with some of these addresses until I can get them about as clean as I can. So this is a good example. If I change in the street or intersection, if I remove slip 7, click return, on the right it will give me all of my possible candidates. In this case there's 22 of them. It's identified one with a score of 100. I can double click on match and that will place the corrected street information here and update my data set. So, normal course of action would be to go through all of my unmatched addresses, fix as many of them as I could, and then I would click Close, and we can see the results here. 